The ski lifts sit idle again. With the snow nearly gone, the slopes expose their true skin. And how jagged that beauty is. Craggy and austere, titillating a whole different group of admirers. Okay, so this scene uh, right at the beginning of the two towers, the opening. A cinematic scene, pilgrimage in every again, sense. The the, this tour uh, capitalizes the on the near hysteria the surrounding The Lord of the Rings. Which, um, the, the movie trilogy based on the J.R.R. Tolkien fantasy novels inadvertently marketed the New Zealand landscape to the world. Nearly a decade on, the devoted keep coming. They range in all age groups, some really fanatical people who want to dress up and come in total Frodo and Sam outfits. Uh, they want to reenact every scene. Yeah, they know they've seen the movies 50 times. The latest government statistics show tourism has overtaken dairy products as New Zealand's biggest export, raking in $7 billion a year and the silver screen is thought to have had an impact worth $2 billion. Fans of the Lord of the Rings films might probably recognize this as Mordor, the barren wasteland where the war for domination of Middle Earth played out. Thousands of visitors have traveled here to see this movie set sculpted by the elements. And this is just one of several regions across New Zealand reaping the rewards of being showcased by Hollywood. Arguably the brightest success story is Matter Matter, an almost mandatory destination for Tolkien buffs. The once quiet town has reinvented itself as Hobbiton after a nearby farm was filmed as the home of the saga's protagonist. The thing about film is that it's absolutely enduring. And even today, some seven, eight years later, you can still find tourists on the street that are here prompted by the Lord of the Rings films. In a sign of this convergence between the blockbuster franchise and tourism dollars, the government found itself in a battle last month to save the upcoming prequel titled The Hobbit. Labour laws were amended and cash incentives brandished to placate studio executives caught in a union dispute. Production of the half a billion dollar film is to begin next year and it's already reinvigorated adoring fans eagerly awaiting the next instalment of an odyssey through Middle Earth. Gerald Tan, Al Jazeera, Tongariro National Park, New Zealand.